Houston now is a completely democratic city. When you're downtown here, walking around, going to an Astros game, you're in democratic territory. But when you go further out, into the suburbs, out toward the woodlands, toward Katy, that's still very Republican. And in between there, in between the Houston city limits and places like the Woodlands and Conroe and Katy, those inner suburbs is where the fight for Texas is going to be. This is Westheimer Road. It's a main east-west artery. You can follow it from downtown Houston all the way out here to Ailey. And you can keep going on this all the way out to Katy. It's also the dividing line here in House Ditch of 133. North of Westheimer is largely Anglo, largely Republican. Uh, one person described it to me as it looks like the 1950s. Uh, very typical Houston suburb, very leafy, large single family houses. South of Westheimer is an entirely different world. It's very diverse, very international. It's majority, minority. A lot of Vietnamese, Chinese, Latino, African American. Uh, and south of Westheimer is largely Democratic, and north of Westheimer is mostly Republican. And so we've got two different parties, two different party bases, and pretty much two different worlds divided by this road. This district's only about 30-35% Anglo, but one of the issues here is that the Anglo voters up here in the northern part of the district vote at a much higher percentage than the southern part of the district, which is largely minority. So even though it's only about 30-35%, they have incredible voting strength. And for the Democrats, if they want to win, they're going to have to turn out more minority voters down south. What are some of the, I mean, what, what are the challenges here in this district in terms of turning out your voters? Well, number one, you have to inform everybody first that there's an election, and thanks to Bill White, I think everybody in the city knows by now that we have a huge contested, hotly contested race. And, um, but we go knock on doors. I'm on television, number one, talking about the issues, but we're also knocking on doors and let everybody know that it's important to get out and vote. So I think uh, we've pretty much covered our district several times over. So I feel pretty good. I'm in a good spot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it seems like this district is, is, is trending Democratic more and more. You were saying that, Absolutely. that uh, you're losing Republican voters every cycle and, and there's more Democratic voters coming in. Right. And if I'm not mistaken, this district, Obama carried it 52-48. Does that sound about right? Yeah. And so it's just going to get better and better every year. Now, of course, redistricting's coming up, so who knows what's going to happen. But if it stayed the same, it would only get better for me. It's interesting. When you, when you block walk through here, I mean, you'll literally, one door will be a Vietnamese home, then there'll be a Latino home, then there'll be an African-American home, then there'll be, you know, an Anglo home. I mean, it's, a, it's just a, it's a true melting pot. I think which, because one dynamic that you have here is you have a lot of people that are first-time homeowners out in this area and again in some cases you have language barriers and some cultural barriers that type of thing so there's there's not a natural sense of community here that, that um, but that's changed somewhat because partially because of some of the work that Chrissy's done and just getting active in the community and getting some other organizations have done to get people more involved in their homeowners associations and civic activities, that type of thing, it's, you know, particularly among the single family home residents, we're building more of a, of a sense of community that lends itself to civic participation. Hey, all right, I was making this video, driving around, and this nice fellow stopped me and said he's now going to call the police because I've been videotaping the neighborhood. So pretty much tells you all you need to know about this area. Apparently they've had some robberies. So I certainly understand people being suspicious, but uh, it's a little ridiculous. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Cops should be on their way. Okay, the cops never showed up, so we're just going to keep shooting footage here. 
and the guy just drove off, so I just drove off. But uh, I want everyone to know that I was uh, willing to go to jail to bring you this footage. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.